What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Metal DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for week four. Get the final plays. Plug in for your up lines. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Press that bell icon. And always stay notified for new videos. Let's go. Go to my first play at quarterback. Gotta look at Kirk Cousins. Now 6,400 on DraftKings, 75 on FanDuel. This guy's been on a tear lately, averaging 26.6 phase points per game for the season, 2.7 touchdowns with no interceptions, averaging 306 passing yards a game, and going against Cleveland is allowing 217 passing yards a game, but around 28.7 phase points in the past four away games, even 36.3 phase points went away for the season. So like this play for Kirk Cousins once again. Got a great stack for Minnesota in this play for week four. So I like this play for Kirk Cousins at quarterback. Now go for a savings play like Tyler Hanukkah. Now he's 5,900 on DraftKings, 6,400 on FanDuel. Another great play going against Atlanta as Atlanta's averaging 301 passing yards a game to the opposing quarterbacks, around three touchdowns a game for the season, 27.5 phase points in the past four games, around 25 phase points to the quarterbacks for the season. So like this play as he's averaging 19.3 phase points a game, 223 passing yards a game with 1.7 touchdowns a game. So Hanukkah is a great play for saving, especially on DraftKings at 5,900. All right, let's go to our next play, going to our running backs. Of course, you got Derrick Henry, going to be expensive, rightly so. 8,800 on DraftKings, 10,200 on Fandle. Like, this guy is in a great play, knowing that they're going to be depleted with the receiver core. A.J. Brown and Julio Jones is out. Hamstring injury. He's averaging 107 rushing yards a game with three touchdowns, 27.3 phase points a game. It was one of those plays where it was most likely going to feed the rock to Derrick Henry in this play to stay safe. For savings plays, we do have Zach Moss. Played him last go around. He balled out 18 phase points, averaging 17 phase points in the past two games. 5,300 on DraftKings, 6,000 on FanDuel. It's a great play knowing that Houston's allowing 105 rushing yards a game to the running back position. Buffalo is a 32 implied team points total with a 17 point favor. So if this game gets out of hand, um, them running the ball more with Zach Moss and Devin Singletary. Three touchdowns for the season. So I like this play for Zach Moss, four savings. Another play you can also consider Clyde Edwards Hilaire has a 54 implied total for this game, seven point favor for Kansas City here. So, another play where he gets some looks if they're going to be up. Uh, Philly allows the average 120 rushing yards for the season, around 26.9 phase points a game, and he's averaging 17 phase points and four big favorable games. He did have a 20 phase point game in week three against the Chargers, where he had 17 carries and a touchdown. So I like this play for CEH in a great spot for week four. Let's go to our next play, going to our wide receivers. Cooper Cup is in a smashing spot, 7,800 on DraftKings. 86 on Fandle, averaging 32.4 phase points a game. This guy's been in, in his bag. He has 11 targets, 8.3 receptions a game with five touchdowns, averaging 35% target share for the season against Arizona, averaging 155 receiving yards to the receiver position, around 36.5 phase points per game. So love this play can stack him with Stafford even with Woods I think Woods could also be a great play especially at his price tag 5,300 so great play you want to stack this game with the division rivals all right let's go to our next play here you go for a savings play with Colin Johnson 3,200 on DraftKings 52 on Vandal could be a great play he had seven targets for 10 fancy points a Slayton is out Shepard is out. This guy is in a great spot here for value. So you could definitely look at Colin Johnson for a nice value play. Uh, Galladay is also questionable, but if he suits up still, great matchup overall. Uh, another play you could also consider, like Emmanuel Sanders at 4,900 on DraftKings. 58 on Fandle. He's averaging 6.7 targets a game. He did have a 26 phase point game last go around. We had two touchdowns last game against Washington. Houston's allowing 158.7 receiving yards to the receiver spot. So love this play. Should get a lot of chances to pay up his price tag to help out with value. So like this value spot 
four, Emmanuel Sanders. Man, so much value. Another play here with Nick Westbrook out high. More likely will be Chalky, but he's a great value spot. Like I said, without A.J. Brown and Julio Jones, is a great play at 3,200 on DraftKings, 53 on FanDuel. He had four targets with 14 fans points last game. Will be the next one up. Have a 78% snap count last go around. Will was four for four with a touchdown. So Nick Westbrook don't need much to hit value at his price tag. And another play, let's go. Jalen Waddle, 4,900 on DraftKings, 54 on FanDuel. 14.6 fantasy points per game for the season. He had 13 targets last game, averaging 8.7 targets, 7.3 receptions for the season. Colts has allowed 175 receiving yards so far for the season with 2.3 touchdowns allowed. So Jalen Waddle, great play for value. So we got a lot of value for receivers for week four. So definitely check that out, y'all. Going to our tight ends. You're going to pay up Travis Kelsey in a smashing spot. 81 on DraftKings, 82 on FanDuel. Overall, this guy is in a great play, averaging 8.7 targets, 6.7 receptions a game, and three touchdowns for the season with 24.3 fantasy points per game. With Phillies allowing 6.7 receptions to the tight end spot, around 16.3 fantasy points to the position, and he's averaging around almost 25% in the target share a game. Definitely helping out Mahomes. So Travis Kelsey back at it in a great play. All right, let's go toward another play here. We we'll go for some savings. We got Tyler Conklin at eight targets last game with 20 fantasy points. Browns are allowing 22.5 fantasy points in the past four away games to the a tight end spot he's also been effective in the red zone three for three with a touchdown 5.3 targets a game 4.3 receptions with 10.5 fangs points a game so tyler conklin like i said the viking stack is a great play go to our last play go to our defense position which for defense i definitely like the saints here uh, against the giants and where they're going to be depleted in the receiving core averaging 13.7 fantasy points a game averaging two sacks two interceptions a game saints in the smashing spot 3800 on DraftKings, 48 on fandor colts is in a great play at 2700 against miami uh, i really don't see anything going for miami side uh, so Colts a great play on DraftKings, 46 on FanDuel. But these are my spots, y'all, for week four. If you like the plays, give a thumbs up. If you want access to my player pool, click the link. It's only dollar up to 30 days. Once you sign up, get access to NFL cheat sheet, sleepers and your studs. Click on the watch players. Get access to my player pool up top for watch mills, DFS picks. To make quality lineups for either DraftKings or FanDuel. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that bag. It's Metal DFS, and y'all stay blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.